Hey, what's up everybody? It's Miss Stranger for now. I'm going to do a video um, telling you all about all my babies. Um, I don't know, like just different things, I guess. So, this is my newest baby. Her name is Chastity Deanna. She's a newborn baby, so she's painted to be like a newborn. So, she'll never... Um, I guess get older than like a few she would not never get older than a month I guess I would say no more than about a month old she um, she has very fair skin she has a lot of blushing in her face she doesn't have any hair she has no eyebrows no eyelashes and no hair so she'll always be that newborn style baby unless I like send her off to get hair added. So I know with a lot of my babies I always tend to pierce their ears if they're a girl. But she will never get her ears pierced. Um, yeah, she's my little chunky mama. I have her all wrapped up in a little blanket. I'm going to take you over here to where the rest of the baby's at. Now over here I'm going to be standing in my own light, light a lot. I have the little babies in this little bassinet right here. It's kind of a little corner area. And I have three babies in this bassinet. I can take this bottle out of here and put it over here. So I have Olinda and the twins in the bassinet. It takes a lot to take care of so many babies. So I know a lot of people will be thinking, mm, I need to get something new. I can't really just get a bunch of new stuff. My babies share clothes because a lot of them are the same size. So I basically would just take one outfit off of one baby and put it on an, another baby and it just looked like a whole nother little cute situation for me because all my babies look different in different things so this is Paige she has a lot of blushing in her face um, a lot of mottling in her face and she is a crying baby so she's painted to have been crying so hard that she turned red so I wouldn't want a baby to be crying that that hard in real life but I guess she doesn't have any hair she's a little preemie baby and I have her wrapped up here in this little blanket she has a little cute outfit up under there but I'm not gonna take her loose right now and this here is her twin he was originally a boy baby I mean she was originally a boy baby so I turned the baby into a girl but if you can see the little hair the little hair is like in a little mohawk and it really looks cute as a girl or a boy but maybe it really looked cute as a boy and then it's painted to be like a boy complexion I guess because little girls are a little bit more blushier but I thought that Peanut can pass for a girl, so I just made her be a girl because I don't want any boys. Well, I didn't want any boys at all, but I do have Sincere. And this is Olinda. She's my limited edition baby because I really wanted a limited edition baby because, like, a lot of my babies were, like, bountiful baby kits. So this is my first baby that I got that was not off of bountiful baby and it's like um, I, I think it was like a Spanish kit and it was meant to be like painted like this here I don't know I would have preferred for it to have darker hair when I saw the pictures and I, when I opened the box I thought that the baby had dark hair but the baby actually has like a sandy blonde hair so that's old Linda, and I'm going to take you over here. I have like this little corner area, and it's like all my babies is up here. So this is the playpen with the babies. 
Hey, Sincere. So, you see my little boy over there in the little tiger. No, Tigger. Tigger. He got the little Tigger outfit on. It's kind of dim over here. And you see Lulu, my little Lulu kids. Both of those babies are painted to look totally different, but they are actually the same kit. So that's Gabby in the green. The little barrettes. Right here is my little mama. I think I'm going to change her clothes today. And Gigi. Oh, she trying to spit that out, little mama. I don't know what she doing with that binky. But Gigi, she um she can fit the zero to three months clothes. So I really just share clothes with her with the um babies that's zero to three months, which are over on this side. It's upside down. So Carlissa, she can fit zero to three months. So I switch clothes with her. Carlissa may not be with me that much longer. Um, she's going to be a gift to someone real, real soon. I'm um, going to be selling her. So the price that I'm selling her for will be a gift. So if you are wondering, how's it a gift and she's selling her? Oh, yeah, it'll be a gift. <laughs> But I will be selling her probably within the next month or so. She will not be here anymore. Let me give you a good look at her. You all may see her in some of my other videos if you have. She's super cute. She originally came to me as a boy. It's really dark in this little playpen. Hey, little mama. Let me see my mama. Hey, little mama. So, yeah, she'll be gone. She'll be gone in a minute. In a minute. But me and Sammy, we haven't been doing really good together either. But Sammy was a gift baby. She's my birthday baby. So, Sammy is not going anywhere. But it be like that sometimes, you know. Sometimes you get a day where you totally feeling the baby, you know. And I have days where I don't feel, you know, happy with certain babies like the little crying babies. I may not feel like that, <laughs> you know. So I'll get one of my other babies. Just switch it up, you know. So I'm going to take you over here. This is a box with a whole bunch of crap in it. <laughs> to my little baby. This is my first silicone baby, you all. She is super cute. But I see that with her, she's like the a sample to see if I really even want a, a silicone baby, like the bigger ones. Because um, they cost a lot, you know. So I just want to see, like, how do I really, like, feel about them. I must never had a silicone baby when I was a kid, <laughs> little girl because I did have a lot of dials but with the silicone I'm I'm I, I'm still like if I had to say hands up or hands down I would just say it's a flat line because I, I don't know because it took me like when I first got her it took me like I would say like 10 minutes just to get the hair out of her face you know like when you first get a baby and they have like that loose hair when you brush it and it was like sticking to her face and everything oh my god it was so aggravating to try to get the hair out of her face. So I'm really like in the between on her. So I powdered her and everything because she was sticky when she came out the box. And um, yeah, you see I made her a little hat. She has a whole little outfit on. Hey mama. But she's all jiggly and whatnot. She has a lot of little details. Hey, little mama. So, yeah, her name is Risha. I decided to name her that. Risha Lynn. And that's my little first silicone baby. And she just chilling. So, I'm going to take you to the next baby. 
Antoniana. I put her um, in this little outfit that I had on Maya. I'm telling you, I switch it up. I will take one outfit right off another baby and put it on another baby. Okay, that's 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 how I do. That's that's just how I do. You know, I I have a lot of clothes. I'm gonna show you all my clothes. Well, some of them. For example, here goes some down here. Bunch of crap in here. Some of these, you know, some days I can look at something and it looks so cute on a baby. And some days I just want to take that off and put it right on the next baby. So here is Maya. She's doing her little Winnie the Pooh thing. Well, she's my Winnie the Pooh baby. So if any baby ever just likely to have Winnie the Pooh on every day, it's going to be Maya. Because I just love her, her little Winnie the Pooh. None of my babies really have like a theme, but she does. And I pierced her ears after one year. She got her ears pierced. Well, it ain't really been a year for her. I got her in November. So, yeah, she got her ears pierced. And then up here is my very first love. Yep, that's Kayana. Y'all remember Kayanna? You see, I had messed her eye. You know what? With that first reborn, you'll probably try a whole bunch of stuff. And with her, her little eyelash came off. So I was thinking I could just take any old glue and put that bad boy back on. Mm-mm. No, there is a certain glue that you have to use to reapply their eyelashes. And... I mean, if you don't use the right glue, it will take their paint off because a lot of glue has acetone in it, like super glue, crazy glue, all those, whatnot. And yeah, it'll mess those eyelashes up. And it'll mess the little paint up. So with her, she actually needed to be repainted around the eye right here where it kind of took her little paint off, if y'all can see that. didn't do that it didn't really do it on this side but it got her good on this side and uh yeah so she's been here a year and she still has a head full of hair <laughs> still have a that's a big fat part I ain't no hair missing in there i promise you but yeah she still have a head full of hair you know how people make those bracelets the little baby names on them and all that so I figure forget that I'm about to make my baby a bracelet so I went to like some dollar jewelry store or whatever and um I got these little beads and I broke them and I wanted to make her a little bitty one those little cheap beads rubbed off the paint onto her little wrist these beads right here these are glass beads. These are some pretty good beads to use. These beads came from Walmart. But them that that bracelet that I put on her, yeah, that wasn't right. I know it looked like uh something that was meant. Maybe, I don't know, but I promise when I got her, she didn't look like that. <laughs> but she is so cute to me. I still love this little baby to death. She's never going to be sold or traded or anything and I even considered trying to have her repainted but I can't even bring myself to send her off you know I just I don't know I've, I've gotten attached to her I don't want nothing to happen to her but yeah that's my very first little mama and uh, this is my other little mama she's just sitting on the dresser this is this little back room back here is like all anyway this is my, where my baby's at but this is my little mama I told you all in the last video that I had made her a little hat so she's like a um she's an eight inch resin baby so she make the little clinking sound but I won her in a in a giveaway and I think that would make it so much more sentimental because I never win things <laughs> 
So yeah, that's my little mama. And she got her own little little space up here. She's in this little thing right here. It's actually a toy. For maybe a virgin your baby or something. But that's her little bed and she comfortable. But yeah, these are my babies. And you see how cluttered this little area is with them all back to back. And you go bam. Bam. <laughs> Well, yeah, I like them back here. I come back here and this is like where I spend a lot of my time to get away from my real children. Mm-hmm. I have some teenagers and they are, oh my God. So yeah, when, when they get to play the game and stuff like that or they up there playing their music in the front of the house, I just come back here, you know, close the door and I, I chill with my babies, you know. They come back here, ask me questions, whatnot. Some of them, sometimes they even sit back here with me and we watch TV or something back here. But this is where I be at, okay? But I really didn't have another spot for a new baby, as you can see. So my, my newest addition, I guess that baby just get bedtime and everybody will just maneuver around. I probably could have some more room if I take that big giant bear out of here well it's two big bears my son gave me this bear before he went off to college I love this little bear big giant baby and this baby right here I probably didn't had this little bear right here for about I don't know about 15 years <laughs> but uh, uh, I know y'all can't probably really see in there it's all you know what they doing they playing you know how you put all your feet in and you do any mini money mo catch a pickle by so or engine engine number nine going down chicago no, just <laughs> <laughs> but yeah they all crowded up in there but you know they they got you know every side for they uh, the sleeping babies on that side well sammy she not sleep she will sleep she woke up because she heard me making a video. She's so nosy. I know. <laughs> but of a rah. But yeah, I'm all in my little light looking all like some. I saw my shadow. But yeah. <laughs> like the groundhog. <laughs> but yeah, I got my little baby stuff in there. My little kit is, is starting to get to be a lot of crap. But that's some of the stuff that I use to redo my babies oh yeah and then right next to that is the bed that's why it be looking all like something but I actually just took this off and washed it so I didn't get to put it back on right don't judge me I don't know I, I didn't get to put it back on right I'm just saying but yeah I don't have nothing else to do right now, so I thought I'd make a video and talk to y'all. Um, but yeah, I know a lot of other people get to watch these videos on YouTube, and they probably run across my videos and be like, what the? But I'm telling you, it's way more babies out here in people collection than mine, but I just interact with all mine. Yeah. But I'm going to feed her in a little bit. Little chumby mama. She always got a bottle next to her. Oh, I told you all I was going to show y'all some clothes. Well, I ain't going to show you the clothes. I'm going to just show you what they, where they at. So, yeah, I got these three drawers full of clothes. That's my boy's clothes. And he has a lot of stuff just by himself. No, they not folded in her. Sometimes I just take some time and fold them. And sometimes I just throw this crap back in the drawer. Um, I don't be feeling like folding. I'm not one of the mamas that be straight sitting up folding clothes. <laughs> I do fold clothes sometimes, y'all, for real. But, um, yeah. See, I got some stuff in here y'all ain't probably even seen because I don't like it. When I put it on the baby, I haven't found a baby to put it on that I actually like them in it. But, uh, yeah. I don't have a lot of preemie clothes. 
So I got them in this little bag separated because they close so tiny. It's hard to keep up with them. But, um, and then right next to this here is another little drawer that got a bunch of clothes in it. So this is another drawer that has a bunch of clothes in here. It's all filled up to the top. Let me see all them extension cords. See, it's a bunch of stuff in here. And yeah, I'm gonna have to find little mama something to put on today. Let me let y'all help me. Let me let y'all help me find my mama something to put on. I'm thinking about putting her on this little shirt. Um, see, I mean, when you get the digging in that drawer, it just, I don't know, you just don't feel like it. I just had her in this outfit. I took that off of her and put her on a little sleeper. There's some crochet stuff that I made. Yeah, I might put her on this little pink because she, she kind of like a borderline baby in any type of way. You put the wrong color on her, yeah, she'll be a boy again. Cause she was originally a boy. So yeah, I'm thinking about putting this on her. Let me take this little shirt right here. And we'll get this. Well, oh, yeah. you see that? Do that match? Oh yeah, she rocking this today. That's what's up. Thanks. Thanks, y'all. See, I be needing a little help. I be needing some help. Finding them some little stuff to wear. Because I'm telling you, I take some stuff off one baby and put it on another baby and be like, hey. Like, that's the first time I ever seen it. <laughs> but, yeah, she going to rock this. That's what little mama right here going to put on. So, do y'all want to do a changing video? Y'all want to see me do a changing video? It's so hard to do. Little mama, she's so thick and heavy. <laughs> but this video, like 20 minutes. And for those of you that stuck around, thanks. And I appreciate it. Thanks for watching.